All right, so today we're gonna settle the age-old question, does size really matter? So, we've got a variety of 22 long rifles and we've got them all loaded up with the same ammunition and basically starting with the RG14 that only has a one and three quarter inch barrel going up to the HP 22A with a uh, three inch barrel. Then we're gonna be running a Ruger Mark II with a four and three quarter inch barrel up to the Ruger Mark II with a uh, five inch barrel, uh, 5.5 inch barrel, sorry. Then the another Ruger Mark II with a six inch barrel. Then from there, we're gonna go to the uh, Heritage Rough Rider uh, 6.5 inch barrel. After that, we're gonna go to this buck mark that's got a 10 inch barrel on it. From there, we're gonna run one of the ARs with a 16 inch barrel, and then we'll run the second AR with an 18 inch barrel. So the chronograph is gonna announce the velocity for each shot. Each one will be run with its capacity. So 10 rounds for the ARs, 10 rounds for the buck mark, I believe, the yep. Mark II's all hold 10. Yep. The Phoenix should hold 10. This Rough Rider is, I believe, a six shot. And I believe this little guy's a six shot as well. So, and then we'll average it all out and we'll see what kind of information we get. For the test, we're gonna be using all the Mini Mag Hollow Point uh, from CCI. So it's gonna be consistent. So let's get set up and we'll get started. All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, so first up, we're gonna run these and it'll announce uh, the velocity. Oh, okay. So, first things first, we're gonna uh, determine if size really matters. And uh, I've wanted to shoot this since I first saw it. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. I've always liked this little thing. Well, let's just hope it don't blow up. Keep your fingers behind it. Make sure it don't blow, it's not gonna blow up. Oh, I know. The barrel's clear, right? Yeah. No, well, I'm just, I'm I'm just sure. kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Okay. 732 feet per second. Okay, so that's the first one. Now we're going to go ahead and run the uh, Phoenix HP 22A. So this has a uh, about almost double the barrel length. Ready? Okay. I'm beginning to think <laughs> size does matter, yeah, huh? Think, think. Beginning to think size matters. <laughs> From there, we're going to step up to the Ruger Mark II, the first Ruger Mark II. And uh, this has a uh, 4.75 inch or 4 and 3 quarter inch. So it's got an extra inch. And uh, it's basically this one is like these two barrels put together. So, ready?
Okay, clear. Okay, from there, we're gonna step up to the next Ruger Mark II. This one has a 5.5 uh, inch barrel. Ready? Clear. <coughs> okay, from there, we're gonna go to the third one. The size does matter so far. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna change this out. Now we're gonna go to the uh, third Ruger Mark II, and this has a six inch barrel, so a half inch more than the last one. Clear. Okay. It's starting to get up there a little yeah, bit. Okay. <coughs> From there, we're going to go to the Rough Rider. So this has a uh, 6.5 inch barrel. So we're going to go ahead and add an extra half an inch. Does a half an inch matter? Maybe. We'll see. All right. You know why? Clear. Why? You're losing because you're losing gas right here. Yeah. <coughs> let's go ahead and run the buck mark and let's see how the buck mark goes. Okay, ready? Too high. Come down. That, is, that got up to 1,200 feet. All right, let me go ahead and pop this back on it. We're going to go ahead and run the 16-inch uh, AR-22, and uh, it does not have uh, any kind of sights, so it doesn't have iron sights, doesn't have a, an actual optic. Ready? Yep.
Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to run the 18-inch uh, AR-22 and uh, see what we get. So, that concludes our test. We ran a, a good variety here of uh, different guns and different barrel lengths. So let me go over the data and then we will uh, let you know. Let's find out what the difference was. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. you, ever, you ever played with one of these things? Nope. Oh man. Here we go, ready. So, for this uh, little RG14, we had a low of uh, 680 feet per second and a high of 732 feet per second. So, its average was 702 feet per second. Now, it has a 1.75 inch barrel. This little HP 22A with a three inch barrel, we actually gained 231 feet per second. Now, part of that may be due to it being a revolver versus a semi-automatic, so just keep that in mind. For the first Ruger Mark II, this has a 4.75 uh, inch barrel, and uh, from this we gained 123 feet per second versus the HP 22. Moving up to the 5.5 inch uh, Mark II, we gained 28 feet per second over the uh, 4.75 inch one from there to the six inch with only a half an inch more we gained 49 feet per second so size is starting to matter mm -hmm. this one is interesting and and it gave us some uh, interesting results I think I need to fix that tip but uh, with this one we actually lost 138 feet per second with an extra half an inch and I, I again I believe that's because it's a revolver Moving on from that to the buck mark, the buck mark, we're going to go ahead and consider the results from the 6 inch uh, Mark II, where we had a uh, 1133 was the average. This buck mark provided 1184 average, so a gain of 51 feet per second. So with that extra uh, 4 inches, it really did make a difference. From there, we went to the 16 inch. AR and from the extra six inches we gained an additional 51 feet per second so not a not a lot but here's where it takes a turn in the 18 inch AR we actually had a loss over the 16 inch of 13 feet per second so with the 16 inch we had 1235 and with the 18 inch we had 1222 so maybe it starts to taper off after about 16 inches. 16 inches may be the optimal length for a 22 long rifle. I don't know, it's up to you. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments below and uh, definitely like and subscribe.